feet. Now, just wait. I never lost it. Look at my foot. I got this. But my key here is, you know, I'm there. You know what I mean? Good. You guys understand? So when I go here, there's that. Okay? One, two. See? This is controlled here. There's your strike there, okay? Even though, see? Look at that. That's a little different. All right, so that. Control. Okay? So once I go here, there's the strike. He gets this twice. I like him. <laughs> okay. I'm the Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the discussion. This is episode 437, and tonight I'm kind of excited because we're going to be kicking off with Kung Tao. And I think we've only covered maybe one or two episodes previous to this. So I'm looking forward to this, and I'm, this definitely going to be a learning experience for me as well as I hope for you. And so <clears throat> we have Master Chris Durbaum, and he's going to be performing demos. He has his sons with him and all that. But we're going to use the usual questions, get some background on him and what led him to this art and why it really resonated with him. And then some demos, and we'll kind of conclude with uh, his he's got coming in the future and goals and so forth and all that good stuff. So without further ado, here he is, Master Chris Durbaum, coming up in exactly three seconds. Hey there, how are you? Hey, real good, real good. Thank you yeah. for having us on. Um, that's Brandon. Uh, what's up, and Ryan? You met Brandon before, so. So we got B and B. Brand Brandon and Brian. Yeah, yeah Brandon, Brandon, Brandon and Ryan. Yep. Brandon. Yeah, Brandon uh, and Brian. I'm just gonna. So you got B and B with you. All right, <laughs> we'll just go. Um, so, yeah, thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. Uh, Oh, we appreciate it. Uh, you know, we really appreciate it. Yeah. 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 I'm looking forward to this. I mean, again, um, we only, uh, as I mentioned in the uh, beginning there, I think we've only covered it once or twice, I believe. Um, yeah. So I'm looking forward to uh, definitely, you know, seeing about your journey and all that. So I guess uh, pre, so let's kick off this way. Uh, pre Kung Tao, what was your martial arts journey? Um, when I was a kid, um, I didn't really have much. I, I did um, a community college class <laughs> up in Pennsylvania, where I was from. I was actually from where there's a lot of slot, like Willie Wetzel and stuff like that. I just never did it, really. And um, when I came down to Florida, I started working corrections in 1991. And I got into use of force, and I said, okay, I got to learn something. you know. And uh, I started with Taekwondo at first. And then um, I found uh, Lenny Howie. Somebody told me to go check him out. And uh, he, it, was, it was very interesting for me. I went in and his his demo, he would just hit you, you know, with a whip. He'd whip you right in the chest, you know. And I was like, oh, my God, this is awesome. And uh, I kind of gravitated towards it. But um, it was hard for me at first because, I, you know, I took a hard art at first and I was very uh, not fluid. And I remember my instructor, he was the Cleveland police. So he said, no, just hang in there. He was really cool with me because I did law enforcement. So I stayed in there and um, the rest is history. I just, you know, I love the art of Kung Tai. And um, after he passed away, I just started studying more arts, you know, in Kung Tai, like just with different features that did the William Reader system. That's the one I kind of stuck with. And um, from him, after he passed away, his cousin, Tony Lachlan, um, told me go seek out some other teachers. So I went up north because I was from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There was some up in the Erie, Meadville area. So I started studying with uh, Scott Young, which is um, under Bob Cerrito. And he's one of the original students of uh, William Reapers. So that, that's how I like, you know, started, you know. Okay. So it sounds like you kind of dabbled here and there before you really like you know, made Kuntawi just your center center focus. Is that something accurate? Yeah, 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 it is. And once I found it, I was like, wow, this is really cool. And it, I just love the aggressiveness of it. It was just so, you know, when you move, you just, just move. You know, it's out of your body. You need to just like go create. You know, it's kind of like a control of I guess you could say, you know what I mean? That's what I liked about it, you know? And um, that's, you know, honestly, with my job, 
I, I honestly, I, I've had a lot of teachers, but my job was my best teacher. You know what I mean? Experience, was, right? Yeah, because I had a, you know, when I had to apply it, that helped me yeah. to build a mile, and I could say, you know what I mean? It really did. So, all right. So, how do you, I guess my first question would be, um, what, because I know you might have mentioned this in your, in your intro, but was it through your job? your job that you became aware of this instructor? Yes. Yeah, there was a another um, correction officer um, that told me about uh, C.P. Lenny, and I went to go see him. Yeah, that's exactly how it met. You know, it, and I remember he did like some different arts, even Filipino did um, Chinese arts, you know, and some Indonesian arts. So he told me about this guy, and then I went to go see him, and I was like, well, I was amazed, you know, how he mm. could move that fast. He was a bigger guy. and um he, he was amazing he, he was he was very intense when he moved wait hold on a second I'll show you a picture. <laughs> yeah, this is this is like uh, cpu lenny <laughs> all right yeah good, good size guy yeah yeah he's a good guy i mean and he he could move he was he you know he was my introduction to the art and um i treasure that man he um from there i just after he passed away, I just, you know, try to keep, uh, keep studying the art. And, um, then they came, you know, they were, they were younger and I actually put Brandon in the school and, you know, not to talk about, about the school or anything, but they were, you know, not really, you know, playing dodgeball and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, I'm going to figure out how to teach my kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I mean, it was very, they were an experiment. That's what I see. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, absolutely. And your training yeah. partners, your students, they become experimental. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I remember my students would say to me, you know, I would say, oh, they're little kids, let them elbow us. So let's just start to hurt, you know? <laughs> I had this yeah. little girl that was like, you know, she's a little around the rocks and she swims now. She's got a scholarship up in Florida. And she would hit pretty hard, you know? She was better than that, they'll tell you, you know, back then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah back then. So, with respect to your teacher, like just far as he goes, like so, where did um, let's I guess identify a couple of things, like uh, you know, what was I guess the system name that he was teaching you, and what and what was his lineage? Okay, my first teacher, um, Lenny Howie, he studied um, you know, William Reader system. He okay. studied under different teachers under that system, and um, that's my basically what he taught. And I mean, I would say the Reader system is very it's fast. There's a lot of different areas in it. You know what I mean? And different teachers got different things from them. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, if somebody comes to study with you, you know, what you're teaching at that time, you know what I mean? But you've done so many different arts, you know, it's like what you show them, you know? So that's yeah. how I started getting with him. And, um, you know, he was like, he was a great introduction. I was, I was young. I was, you know, 21, I guess, you know, okay. you know I'm, 50, I'm 54 now. So, you know, yeah. I mean, um, I was, I was very young and he was, aggr he was aggressive, you know, like with us teaching wise, you know, and honestly with them, I mean, I, I was, with my boys, I was, I would always make them go with adults, even when they were young and stuff like that. I mean, they, they could tell you, <laughs> you know, I was, I was rough on them. I was very rough on them, but you know, it's paid off now that now they're rough on me. <laughs> you know, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, full circle. Now, they're, yeah. now they're, yeah, the circle's coming around, you know. Yeah. I just told him I never want to sit in a chair and take a picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, for folks who might not know, can you just tell us about the reader system? Yeah, well, he came. Um, well, he was in Indonesia, of course, and it's, it's a Chinese Indonesian system, mostly Chinese, I would say. And um, after the war, he came to the Netherlands, like most of them came, and he came over on a church group. You know, and he was able to teach over here, and he taught in um, Erie, Pennsylvania. Uh, you know, he was even up in Can, you know, taught stuff up in Canada and stuff like that. And um, you know, he just shared with very few people. It was very, very small at first, and then as time went on, he, he shared, he shared with most more people. And I, and from what I've heard, there wasn't even really a ranking system. That was something Americans did, and he started doing. Exactly. Which I'm sure a lot of parts have happened since they came to America. You yeah. know, so yeah, it was, it was interesting. I never met him, you know. I, you know, but I, my teachers, you know, trained him, you know. Yeah. So, and, um, the China, 
that's interesting. Uh, so the uh, the Chinese Indonesian blend. So when you say the Chinese, was it more the southern province of Fukien area? Yeah, I, was, I always heard it was from Fukien. You know, it was uh, Macau. I heard it was from Macau. You know, but it was a southern, yeah, a southern or definitely a southern. Yeah, and they came to, you know, Indo you know, Indonesia, and that's where the slot got blended in. Because even when I was in the Netherlands, you know, I got to meet. There's a there's a famous picture of readers and the freeze, and I got to meet this guy. His dad trained with the freeze in the picture, and you know, I do reader system. It was really interesting. Like you know, Brandon will tell you they moved really. You know, Gil Gilbert moved really good. He was he was very, you know, he, he was he was right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he was good. Yeah, yeah. Just so we went to the, yeah we went to the park with them it was funny because my wife's just reading a book and i said yeah beat my son up yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just beat my son up you know no, I can yeah, and it's she's just looked on a book and, you know she's so used to it it's 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 a mutant you know? <laughs> so, yeah. so i find just interesting like that southern province where, where you know whether it was through migration or trade like you know you know just from these episodes or just you know talking that to other folks where, you know, when they left there again, some say it was exile, but it sounded like it was more trade basis where, you know, they would go down to Mindanao or, or of course Indonesia and then this pollination and this fusion of like yeah. these arts kind of coming together. And it, it's look, it just sounds like it's a fascinating, uh, you know. Yeah, those are really um, interesting. And I guess like, you know, when just, the war happened, yeah. The war changed everything, you know, like, like, so like I asked one of the questions I asked, well, how could they get a picture in there with the war going on? And he said, what happened was the Japanese would take over, you know, say a village of fence around the whole thing. If they took a picture, it wasn't getting developed and that's day, you know what I mean? It's CBS yeah. or wherever, you know what I mean? It just, you know what I mean? So like, I didn't know a lot of things until I went over there when they, they, they explained them to me, you know what I mean? It was, it was very interesting and how, all the families trained together in the war camps and all that. That was really, it was really interesting. You know, it really was. It, it, I tell you, so, you know, because when I hear Kun Tao, I definitely, you know, the, the way they fit or whatever is direct translation, you know, the Chinese. So, and then when it's incorporated with Sea Lot in there, um, so is it called, you know, like for instance, um, is it called Kuntao Sea Lot or is it just Kuntao? Yeah, it could be. It could, there is, I would say there's definitely a Sea Lot mix because, you know, training with those guys over there, he's like, well, you're doing this, you're doing, you know what I mean? And I don't, really, you know, I just do it. You know, I, I mean, it, so yeah. like, it's a learning lesson for me over there, like some of the stuff I do, you know what I mean? You can see some Jumandi in it and some different things because we do a lot of hard striking also, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I would say the, 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 I would say the main thing with Kuntai is, you know, they call it the whipping, the whipping system, because we do a lot of whipping, whipping the body when we move. And, oh, as far as you're striking the whip. Yeah, and striking. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. I mean, it's, it's based off the whip, but you can whip anything. You know, you can whip your mm. you know, and, and I just say that, that that's what's so interesting about it. You know, to me, you know, I, I, so I found that really interesting because it is, it's an aggressive art. It's very offensive. You know what I mean? Yeah, it so, just seems like, you know, when you look at Ceylon Grutau, it's like, okay, close the gap with as much firepower as humanly possible and just dismantle the person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to take away his tools and like, you know, yeah. and, destroy, and destroy. But you know, that's a perfect world. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not always yeah, like right, that. right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Not, <laughs> you know, it's not, you know, it's not like voice, you know. So tell people like, yeah, yeah, you're gonna do this. No, it's not, you know. I mean, I think what I've you know, like what I've learned is I, I, you know, at first I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to be the speed demon, you know, like boom, 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 be fast. And it, it's not about that. It's about hitting with power. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. what I've always said. I, I tell them, I said, like, you know, I don't care if you're fast. I, I, I care if you, you could hit, you know, yeah. really go. That's the, yeah, the key. Yeah, have consequence. Right, upon yeah. contact. Yeah. No, definitely. You know, Brandon would like, could definitely tell you about that because, you know, when he played football, he never played football in his life. And he, you know, played two years and, you know, he was able to use a lot of even, you know, the martial arts in, you know what I mean? Like Yeah, there there's some big boys. You had to like you actually had to hit him hard. If you didn't hit him hard, you weren't gonna move. Like I played O line, so like that's all all I was going against was big people. So when I had to like oh, three hundred pounders, yeah. yeah. I had a chance that I had to like really use my whole body 
into it, not just be fast, because if I was just fast, like, you know, I'd fall right off. They're too big, so I'd have to hit them really hard. Plus, I, I got to imagine just understanding lever points, the anatomy, where you can, you know, create a lever, cars manipulation, all that. I mean, that had to have helped on the old line. You, you know what I mean? There's nobody telling me that didn't come into play, right? Oh, yeah. oh, no, it did, yeah. It's like you had to find the right place to, like, move them around and to hit them. Like, I couldn't just be like, you know, go, like, on them because they're, like, bigger than you. to, like, come to your side. And then yeah. use like wild yeah. leverage against them. So, like, go right. through. Yeah, force, right. So, like, force that, was, that was just focus. Like, yeah. I couldn't, like, you know, like, you know, hit them in the nuts or nothing. But, like, <laughs> still, like, it helped me, it helped me, like, move my hands. Because, like, if yeah, not, I was just, like, grab me and then throw me. So, I'd be like, okay, I use my hands. Smack yeah. it, like, use my forearms, too. Yeah. Just, like, a bunch of stuff he taught me that actually, like, I was able to translate to that. So, I was like, oh, this is fun now. Not to yeah. beat the crap out of kind of. Yeah, no, I can definitely see, you know, uh, how that could help. I mean, just again, knowing those principles and and trying to create right. an angle where you're not taking on full body mass. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Right. <clears throat> um, interesting. Interesting. You know, so, I, I, a funny story with it, if you don't mind me. I, I, sure. um, I went to the actual, you know, Practice one yeah, day. I went to practice one day, so he was lifting, came out, and I, I met the coach, and I was just like, he goes, oh, you're the more short dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so Brandon came, and he's all like, you know, pumped up. <laughs> you know, and we're just like, you know, we were hitting each other really hard. The coach goes, oh, I like it. It's like borderline child abuse. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah, he comes to the team. And I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I, I just got done working out. And he's like, all right, man, let's do the 5.2. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, so I'm tired, man. Was, and it was funny because when I, he would go to practice, like I would, you know, I didn't know if I was just going there for a demo to actually teach him what. So I'm like, I was really hard on him. And yeah, he would like take me down in front of all the, <laughs> all the, all my friends. Like I'm, I'm sure it wasn't embarrassing. <laughs> so yeah, like, like, oh, and I'm like, oh, what's up, John? And then like, you know, I'm throwing it whatever. No, it was funny because like, you know, I asked him on the way home. I said, Brandon, you sure you want me to do this? You're in high school. I don't want to like debate. Just you know, he goes, no, Dad. Would you, I think he said, oh, you're a badass dad. It's all you need. <laughs> yeah, he was like, come on, it'll be fun. I said, okay. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. The coaches were real open to it because, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and then, uh, I mean, yeah. you know, there was some stuff I showed them they didn't like. You know, they, I mean, I was yeah. straight up artists. You know, like if you cross your feet, no, you don't do that football. You know what I mean? There's no, certain things, you know, you do and, you, you know, they liked and they didn't. So, <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure there were some universal <laughs> concepts as far as what mm -hmm. you could, you know, apply. And, and I'm sure. You know, but they love the handle at, brand, at Brandon's yeah. expense, you know. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No, it, was, no, it, was it was great to watch him, though. Like, it's like, like damn, your dad's really crazy. Like, it's not, I'm like, yeah, that's my dad. Like, you know, some of the kids' dads were there. Like, my dad doesn't, he don't get off the couch. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, my dad, like, he comes to our practice. It's like, like, you're out here, like, like going with like, Because I used to do this one, I think you remember that one drill we did, we threw that bag, and it's it's like 70 some pounds. And I throw it with the big kids. You know, show him you can really. Yeah, he, he's like, all right, come on, I'm just wearing sneakers, and like everyone's right. Yeah, come on. Like he knows how to root so well. It's just like sink in and yeah. like grab it and like. But I mean, yeah, I, mean, I had a helicopter. I'll be honest. Yeah, those kids are big boys. They're like some of them. Yeah. Like, you know, so it was, it was a lot of fun, and I mean, it was great to see because they did well. You know, that I think it helped them a lot, and you know, they won this district out here, and, and they, their team was horrible for years. I mean, horrible. Now, like these last three years. They've lost like one game, or you know, they've done really well. You know, it was just great to see. You know, I could, I felt like I did help them a little bit. You know, what I mean? yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm sure you so, did. I mean, yeah. I mean, um, back to your so, as far as the system that you you got from your teacher, can you just speak on as far as the the comprehensiveness of it? In other words, besides the empty hands, you know, what did he touch upon as far as weapons and what weapons in particular? Um, well, I mean, the first one I learned, you know, we did do some small, you know, smaller knives, stuff like that. We did some stab, you know, different things like that. But I was always just taught, like, I'm sure, like, in a lot of systems, the, uh, you know, it's an extension of the hand. You know what I mean? The, 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 you know what I mean? That, that's what they would say. And then, I mean, I think as I went on, and, you know, you know, even my forms and stuff, I don't really do a lot of forms now, per se, but they... You know, you can apply that to a knife. You know what I mean? And it's just, you know, it's changing. Like you're hitting now, it's now it's ripping or something like that with the blade. You know, 
blade or whatever when you get hit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, but I, I would say like the thing that really drew me to guitar was the intensity behind the art. It, it's just I, I love the intensity. You know, it's like that. That was different. I thought. You yeah. Know, yeah. No, just from what I've done, I agree as far as closing the gap. So it sounds like he didn't really give you jurus or anything like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. So we did on some forms and stuff like that. We did. You no, know, we yeah. did. But I mean, I'm, I'm more, to me, I mean, I'm into application. I'm, I'm, I'm more into that. You know, like yeah, I have like, no argument here. Yeah, yeah. Buy stuff and, and, you know, be able to actually use it. You know what I mean? That, that's yeah. what I was always, you know, that's yeah. all I, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But, uh, and we got some folks saying hi. Yeah, I got to be more attentive to who's saying hi. Oh, we got a bunch of people. We got Eric from Naples, Rich Parsons. Hey, Rich. And, hey, what up? Um, we got you from Germany. All right. And we got PG Arrow, who I need to speak to soon from New Jersey. We got Chad Bailey and Terry from Stockton. All right. Yes, folks, if you're watching, tell us where you're watching from. If you got questions, uh, let me know. Um, all right. So, law enforcement. So, when you say law enforcement, corrections? Yeah, I did both. I did corrections. Yep. I did okay. it for 30 years. 30 years. <laughs> 30 years yeah, up in Pennsylvania? No, all in Florida. All in Florida. All I did Florida. I worked so, okay. okay. Prison, 10 years, and then I worked in the sheriff department down there in corrections. So I imagine <laughs> some of this came handy. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And then, I mean, I, I, I did teach a few, few people. From the sheriff, like one, you know, one of my senior students, uh, Justin Miller, I mean, he's a big boy, he's like 250, he's a beast, you know. And, um, you know, he, he was an amazing student to teach. He was, he, he had a good intensity when he moved, and you know, when he applied the art of work, he did well, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. I was always happy with that. And, um, he's one of my seniors, and Carlos uh, Serrano, he's another senior instructor, and uh, they, they, were, they were like. They're my top, like, uh, you know, senior instructors. And then I have, like, you know, secrets under them and stuff. But, okay. So so not only did you were able, you know, to use this at work, um, all that, it sounds like you were also kind of teaching some of the department personnel? Yeah, some of them. Yeah. I mean, okay. I'll be honest with you, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of them, they're just not into that. It's, I know. You know it's like, I'm like, oh my really... god! Yeah, I'm get you want to pull a gun, and that's it. But like in corrections, you ain't got a gun the most of the time, unless you're doing a transport, certain things like that. You know, there's another guy like uh, Ryan the Kaiser. You know, he, he he's another seafood in my system. Um, he mostly learned, he learned under me, but with under Justin a lot too, and he, he he's still mm. working. Yeah. Yeah, you think these guys that are in law, it always kind of puzzled me. Like, you know, if you're in law enforcement, whether it's corrections, you're a police officer, like you think, I mean, I'm just saying, speaking for myself, what would appear yeah. to be obvious, I'm not saying I'm right, but it seems like you would take and be proactive and trying to basically train, better your safety uh, so you can get home at night. And, and so it just puzzled me. But I guess, you know, when I look at the whole picture, you know, maybe over time, family, maybe easier said than done. But for yeah. face value, I just think folks would just, they would just, I don't know, they would just do it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I never understood that myself. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're on a job, but you can get hurt. I mean, you know, wouldn't yep. you tap into other sources for self, for to be responsible? Even, even the point, like, you know, I mean, it's getting better now, I would say, but. You know, like people don't even stay in shape. <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta at least at least start there. Yeah, right? like I, I, would, I, I was guilty of that for years and like you know cardio, yeah. this one, like that little one, he's like, Yeah, you look pathetic, you gotta get back to shape. And I was just like, Yeah, great, okay, you know, like you, you know, no taking now now I'm working out with them, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and you know, yeah, he's I mean, a little jackass, but you know what? I, I'm glad he's like that because you know, I would like out with them teaching them, so now yeah, they become my teachers so in areas. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, just um all right. So um you're training with them. At what point did I guess he kind of give you the green light to teach? Um well, I, I my first teacher he he passed away and then I went to learned under another instructor and I got my um instruction level under him and then I oh, okay. with with the other guy up in me going got a you know instructor level under him. So I got like under two different uh, teachers in reader system. Mm. And you know, and honestly, like, teaching is like 
opened my eyes so much over the years. So it's like you learn from teaching more than I, I think I learned as oh, a, I think so as well. Yeah. As a student, you know, because you get different, you know, I've had boxers in here, I've had, you know, guys that are huge, like big boys, you know what I mean? It, it, you just learn like how to teach the women and, you know, it, it's, it's definitely opened my eyes up. Even teaching my own sons, I mean, it's, mm. it's been amazing, you know, like, now they teach me sometimes, like, you know, come, oh, here, dad, do I, this work? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess I would. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. and I, no, I just, I, 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 I've learned so much from teaching, I, you know, and just going places and learning and, you know, I, I, everywhere I go, I try to, you know, if I can work with somebody, I try to pick something up. Yeah, you know, always just being open-minded and trying to improve upon self as far as your teaching oh, craft yeah. and just being a better version of yourself. I totally agree as far as teaching. It just seems to really um, just compound further what you're doing or trying to teach and getting an overall better understanding when you're really relating to other folks, you know. Um, sure. But uh, so, all right. So who did – okay, so – you're going with other instructors. Who so? Who were some of the other instructors? Were they different styles or kind of similar? Yeah, well, mostly of the reader system. I learned oh, under, uh, that. Okay. Yeah, I stayed with that, and um, I you know I learned with uh, like Scott Young up in uh, Meadville, Pennsylvania, and he was under Bob's for video. And it, you know Bob was an original um, student under uh, readers. You know in the sixties. That name sounds know. familiar. Yeah, I've heard that name. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, I learned from Savelli, you know, even Tiny Sealy when he would come down here for seminars and different things. And, you know, I, I just stuck with Quinta. I liked it, you know. And, I mean, I try to always expand on it, you know what I mean? And wherever I go, I learn different things. But, uh, you know, I think, it, you know, like at some point, like, he, he you know, my older son's really, he's getting really good. So he's, like, kind of, like, his, he, he's making his own style out of his you know, he's a big boy, so he's a little different. Moves a little different than me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just do what you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're all like, you know what I mean? You know how like you you get a student and they start like they all their own little flair. That's what I'm trying to say with them. Yeah, you know? their own their own their own flair, their own movement, their own yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I, I could be a huge example here. It's like you know, I I taught this guy Carlos Serrano, you know, top student. He was just so extremely fast, and I mean, he's in the army up in Alaska. And now, and um, he was phenomenal, you know. And I taught Justin, and Justin was just like Brandon, big, you know, big, big boy, you know, just big kid. And um, you know, they they both moved a little different, but you know, you could tell they learned under me. You know what I mean? Because they had that speed, but then the power, you know. And that's why I always try to like relate to those guys. Like you gotta have both. You don't want to just, you know what I mean? Like somebody just to blow air and you fall over. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta have power when you move. You know. That's my, yeah. that's the key to, I think, the art, you know, in my opinion. No, no, no. Awesome. Um, so, uh, I was going to say there, far as, okay, so when you started teaching, um, were you basically kind of merging the influence and exposure from all the different structures? Oh, for sure. Or, okay. Yeah, for sure. And then I was like, you know, like my own job experiences, like, you know, what I mm -hmm. thought worked stuff like that you know what i mean and yeah definitely you know and like i'm always trying to expand i'm always trying to like you know try new things and you know i think you can't never be satisfied you know what i mean i, I you know like you you're yeah, always trying i think to you go stale yeah. like if you get complacent i think you know um and you don't continue to seek out more information or better ways to do things and yeah i agreed on that um yeah, I mean, so, you, get, you get bored, you know what I mean? You get bored. Uh, like, yeah, so, I, I mean, I would. I do, yeah. <laughs> so I always try new things, and, and you know, I mean, like, honestly, for me now, is, I love working out with the boys, man. I mean, I, that's changed my – I think it's got, you know, help, help my heart. You know, I'm, you know, I'm getting older, so, like, I'm, you know, I don't want to get to the point where I'm, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Just, just sitting in a chair, not doing anything, and just talking no, about stuff. Oh, that's like, that's you know, like word. a joke story, you know. And, and like, I want to, I want to try to keep up with them for a while, you know. And then yeah. I know that, you know, it's gonna be. I mean, Brandon, I'll tell you, like, when I was a, when he was a kid, you know, I'm come home from the sheriff, and I, you know, I'd have to stab food vest on, and he's like, he would attack me, it would be like Cato, you know, he would attack me. He's like, Dad, oh, Dad, uh, can I stab <laughs> you? I said, Well, I'll stab for this government, so I don't know if it actually work. You know, be just to mess around. And I was just saying, hi. Yeah. <laughs> but 
but it was funny because like now like i still try to wrestle with them and mess around and i remember he was moved, he was going to school august 10th and i'm telling him like hey man your room's dirty in here come on in here and he goes in and I start messing yeah, with him actually yeah attack him just like messing with him we still have that bond you know but yeah. Yeah, he's getting the better of me now. <laughs> yeah, it's like, but you know, much to your point though, just because you're getting old, I like not to surrender. Like my worst nightmare is that uh no, he never has. Just, that's just, good. Like I would like it's gravitate. Like, it's like I'm 53. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Gravitate like sitting on a couch with a remote and just going through yeah. the channels. Like, oh, I've that, done that too. I, I mean we all done that, but I you gotta get away from that and just get no, back in the I, I definitely get away from that. Yeah. Yeah, I find something to do just sitting there. Yeah, but um, and I think I think you know, like a really good thing is like just making my garage into a, a place to train. And it's mm -hmm. like it's always here, so I come out and I'm like, oh, you got to do something. You know what I mean? It's like it's always yeah. been here. And that's how I pushed it on him. I mean, like I remember when Ryan was young and I used to teach, you know, the kids, and he was really young. he was like five or six, and he would just climb up my garage, you know, yeah. like, you know, but he was too young to do it, but I made him do it, you know. But yeah, yeah. And, and, um, hey, how about we um, we'll do some demos, then we'll get back in some of the questions. So whatever you want to show, seriously, um, you want to show some empty hand stuff. You want to show some. Yeah, well, we can do both. I, show, I can show some empty hand and how like we apply the knife. Um, let me just okay. position so you guys can see as many. Yeah, and actually, here. I will lower myself. Okay. You guys will have the whole screen. Yes. Okay. We got. I'll see where the screen. John Cooper's I'm okay. All right, there we go. Let's see, right? okay. That's good. You can see it Actually, I can see just your guys' heads are, are missing. Okay. Okay. We're good. A little better. Like maybe one more adjustment and we should be good. Should have just left it like it was. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That, uh, yeah, okay. much better. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so some of the some of the stuff we'd like to do, like like have like especially like power, like if Brandon's doing, you know, like he's on punch and I'm you know, this is a basic slot thing. I'm sure they do at Filipino arts everything, you know, like a one two like this. So, you know, if I'm just doing hands like this, but well, what you really want to do is like put your hips your body into it. So when Brandon's broken, when Brandon does it, he, he's using his hip. So now he can come with a punch, boom. So, so he's got his hip into it. So he's making space, like when he goes here, he's making kind of space there. So now when he comes, boom, he's crushing. So like if you would just do, you know, just go here and punch, you're not gonna have any space. So like the idea of what we want to try to do is have space when we move, okay? So he don't want to do it. Okay, so all of this stuff, like when I move, when I go here, he goes here, so you know, I got his foot, you know, here. So what we try to do is make space in little areas, okay? And I want to get into a position where I kind of take his tools away. So like if he's got the move and I just stay out here, then he's gonna crack me with this. Okay. So like what did I go through here? Okay. So when I am constantly like when I'm going, he goes to throw, I'm trying to go get Take, take his space, okay? Or if I go like this, oh, I'm striking. Now I'm coming here. And the way we like to use is a lot of um, forearms when we hit. So over here, this is like base for real. But I'm, I'm going to come to his chest like for practice. So we like to use a lot of these. You're showing this, man. Showing. Some of them. So it's like a collarbone break or a face when it comes to it. Boom. Okay. So it's like so. so what he's trying to do is come off this, like with a with his hip. Mm -hmm. Kind of so do it again with the front a little bit. Here. That's what comes. Yeah. So that's a lot of the stuff we try to do when we like try to take people's space and we want to be in a, a situation where when he goes to move if he stays out of here then i can come up this way okay but if it's one two, he's taking my space like even if he just goes one two and stuff 
I was out there. I'm trying to come so we can. So I want to get into a position where I'm here. So, like, he hit me, and it's harder for him to punch me. Where else would he be back here? Does that make sense? I mean, that's what we tried there. Yeah. So, so that, that's, that's some of the stuff. Well, um, you want to show a little knife? Would that be okay? Yeah, no, that was, uh, you know, was, that was so awesome. Like, so what we call levers, I'm not sure what you guys, but the fact that you guys can, when you're coming in and taking that space, like there should be impact of an off balancing mechanism, which I was clearly yeah. seeing you guys do, which is clearly going to lead to easier sweeps and takedown. So it's I, great stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, when he's got, um, do it to your brother, because I don't want to break my color. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, when, when he comes in, I'll do a soul search. Mm -hmm. So, right. And then, like, together. Mm -hmm. So, that's, you know, we try to do a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> So like a lot of it is like you're hitting with a yeah, jump slug. So when he comes in, he's taking the space, and then he's not gonna just yeah, you know, grab with this. He's actually gonna hit with this, but it's really gonna be a face, but it's gonna chest up. So you know you we do a lot of um hitting with this and like what we try to do is it's it's up here. So when I go here, it's, it's, it's up there. So when I hit with that, okay. But I want to get my leg where behind. So now I'm in control. Yeah. All right. So we that's what we try to do. You, you use a lot of like this. We got. Hit. It all, I always get confused: the radial or the ulnar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I understand. I know. Don't I know? But much your point though, hitting with the fat. Uh, the back there, and I love it. I mean, just the off coming in with the off balancing, and then leading to an easier takedown. Uh, you know, so music's my ear. Yeah, I think it's great what you're showing thus far. So yeah, keep going. Whatever else you want to show. I and mean, so like you know, say with the um, with with the blade. Okay, like a lot a lot of things we like to do. It's a lot of things we like to do. When I'm when I come in, I don't want to just keep playing with his arm. So when I like. I like to control it, okay? So when, wherever I go with this, I'm trying to cut him. See, you know, I got his legs. I can either step on his leg, you know, like I'm here, stepping on his leg, I can control it. Yeah, it's sure mm -hmm. good. It's a bad day. So if I come here, see, I got this foot. But I want to try to control him rather than you know, just, you know, go to cut him or whatever. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot of go wherever he wants. So what I try to do is, you know, what I try to get, I get that one, I'll take that one. Okay. So, you know, if I'm here, I can reverse grip. I'll go here, reverse. So I can control here. Take him down. Okay. So whatever I'm going to do, I'm in. Or simple one, you know, I just cut this. But I'll back and take that. So. Yeah. So. We do front and reverse grip. We do both, you know. Yeah, no, I, I, I just like it, like the, the, the uh, denial of their recovery. You know what I mean? Not, not enabling them to get posture back or the recovery. Yeah, I mean, we like to like take the foot or try to do a takedown when we're doing stuff, so then we can keep finishing. Yeah. If, if, no. if that makes sense. You know what I mean? No, absolutely. No, absolutely. I think it's great. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I'm digging it. So, whatever else you want to show. Yeah, so a lot of things we do is like we're coming here, you know, I'll go here, cut, I'll come down. I'm always using this hand. You know, I'm not just going like this. When this is here, I go here, this is always you know ripping or whatever. So I'm trying to use this as a check. This this hand's always checking something. You know, because like when we did like the four by four. Yeah. So this, yeah, this is like a form we would do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing that. That's that's our form with that. I'll do with the blade. Okay. So what we're doing with this is, this is coming in. This is ripping. Okay. Yeah. 
But if I put this here and this rips, then I can come back up. Okay. So a lot of the stuff we do is all rip. But see, how we, we try to get and emphasize the hips a lot. Okay. When mm -hmm. we move, yeah. we're just, you know, doing this. So interesting. Trying to use our hips like we would use it in, um, you know, an actual punch or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm seeing definitely the, yeah. I mean, it looks great. I mean, again, um, yeah, whatever, like, whatever else you want to show, like defensive stuff, whatever you want. Yeah. Okay, so this is like, say, two punches coming. I give you both. Okay, good. Okay, you do it. Good job. And see, this is like strike here. Okay. Mm. So, go one, two, and then in front of the chest. Go, go. Okay. So, that's either going to go here or the face. Okay, so you're not doing an open hand straight there. This is what we call them coming here, and it's physical and mm. Like, they're pretty good at it because it has nothing to do with me. They used to fence. Both of them were, they were both good fencers. Like, he, he was really good, my little one. And then you know, I'm, uh, you know, I guess you, you know, so your whole body, yeah, 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 you like, yeah, yeah, yeah they, they were good with that. You know, it was, that was very interesting with me too, because like I did an article once on how the Spaniards went over to, you know, the Philippines and a lot of that right. stuff was, you know, that was very interesting, you know, <laughs> but that, that, I think that's where they got that, you know, like the, the thrust or what, you know what I mean? What was that I called? Know it called? It's definitely yeah, but on the flip side. When I look at and um some of the movements you guys were doing there when you were coming up like this with a knife, and just some of the other movement, it's like I can totally 100 percent 100 percent see the influence in Piper of 100 percent from what you guys are doing from the sea well, level. Oh, okay. And the Piper said, absolutely. Uh, I'm seeing it like just in the way you guys kind of what we call frame outs when the other hand's coming in and pushing like that and then resetting like yeah. that. I mean, it's a pure. Yeah, yeah. Pure I mean, that's what I do with really. the knife, a lot, of, a lot of stuff with the knife because, you know, we do the same when we hit. We, mm. You know, we'll use this instead of just a hand. I mean, you can hit somebody with their hand, but when you hit them with this, you know, like just like when I talked to them, like when I talked to them about football stuff, like if he was, he was grabbing them, you know, like he was up there, but just, just like this. And then do a slow burn. Like if he just uses his hand, he's not gonna move. It. You know what I mean? So he would use, yeah, like that. The whole, the whole. And that's how I used to like when I was like here, you know, especially for work. I was having a pickup, and I would try to like kill. It, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So a lot of that is just all hip and body. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And, and a lot of it, I would call it like we we try to like like do stuff with a whip. But then we also try to do stuff with just whipping anything. You know what I mean? If this would come up, this would be, this would be a block for a strike. You know, yeah, like somebody no, has I mean, a hangmaker, I'm not just going to go like this because then I'm going to eat that. So yeah. if I do like a hangmaker, do, bro. Come up with um, Do that. Do that. Show that. Yeah. It don't matter what you do. Yeah. So you're coming like that. But that's going to be a strike. Okay. So when he comes up, he move up. Mm. Okay. So a lot of this stuff, like even if you're coming down, like say, you know, like you got somebody like this, like this isn't gonna work. You know what I mean? That's like, so what we do is like when he crosses, we do like a bunch of, okay. Like that. Yeah, do that. Yeah. So he's coming like that. And and mm. what, like what we try to do is just really, really like hit everything. And honestly, um, I, like, I learned that in two months, you know, like that's yeah, you know, it's, um, that's why here, I hear they do a lot of that work. In fact, when I was training with Ron in Gutau, there was a lot of form conditioning, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so, 
uh, makes sense. But I, I, I just love the hip dynamic. Like you guys are putting the hips into it and all that. I, I just think that's great, great stuff. You don't have to because like if you're just doing open hand hips, there's, there's no power. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to have like, like if you're gonna do a whip or something, and you're just doing this, there's no power. Mm -hmm. so like you have to like, you know, come with the whole body. You know, so I come like whipping my whole body. You know, yeah, yeah. So what you can try to do is like say, um, what we try to do is like, you know, say three people, you know what I mean? Like, I'll put it in place. Okay, so say, um, then things have better days. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, so Brandon's here, okay, say, say like this, so he's. He's trying to strike me. Okay, so if I was here, he's trying to strike me, then go to his brother. And okay, so like I'm, I'm gonna be the first guy he hits. You know, it's gonna be a boom. Yeah. It's all it's all hips. Okay. So he's he's trying to get me in the face right away. Boom, boom. So that's but it's all hips, so like he's trying yeah, to get a lot yeah. of like a, a knuckle grade over here. You're trying to hit the guy in the face, and then you're coming back and boom. But if you're just doing this, there's no, there's no power. No, no. So what he's trying to do is like he's he's shooting all his power here. Back that in chest. I'm gonna probably fall off, but whatever. Sure. So let me go boom here, but like, mm. like that. So the whole thing is that, and then it shoots you off to the next thing. But if you're yeah, hitting right, right, I mean, I see it. Yeah. yeah, but I'm I'm hitting them right like in the jaw. So like you know, that one's yeah, <laughs> that yeah. one's coming this way. Like I'm I'm really bringing my whole body into it. I'll smack it, crack up the first guy. And then this one comes up here. So I'm hitting here. And I go right to the other. Yeah. So we just try that rotation. Like they're creating that rotational <laughs> power, you know. Yeah. So you gotta have that's what I always try to tell them. I don't care if they're fast, it's just mm. have how hard they're doing stuff. I mean speed, you could teach anybody speed, right? Speed high slot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. To me, you know what I mean? You gotta have like, you know, have your body behind your hitting. Like, I mean, I know if he hits me in a collar I'm gonna break my collar, right? There's no doubt in my mind. You know what I mean? Like, you know. I mean, he knows he knows how to generate power, you know, and that's that that's one thing I try to I try to emphasize. You know, like when you're doing Kanzai, you got to have power when you hit because you want to crush, you, you know, yeah. and all the other stuff is great. All the speed's great because we, we do have really good speed in the art, but you want to do both. You want to do both. And you want to close the distance and move your body as one unit. You don't yeah, want to move your hands in your body. You want to move, you know, like if he's moving at me and he's just, you know, just say you move my hands. No, no, we'll go this way. Oh, what's up? Oh, okay. But he's got to come in with the, he's got to come in with the body. He's got close, yeah. you know. You got close, and that's yeah, one thing yeah. I think helped him with football. Was a good time. I mean, I he told me the last day, you know, he's like, Dad, I didn't know shit about football, but you know, <laughs> I was able to do a lot with good time. Yeah, I didn't know. He had, fun, he had fun with it his last year, you know. Once he learned how to snap because he was the center, he had to learn how to snap, but he always. He always had the biggest person in front of him on the other team. He has, always had a nose guard in front of him. They were like 300 pounds. How big was that one kid in front of you? And four tens, like four ten. He's four ten in front. Six four ten. I mean, yeah. But he said that guy just. I think if I just prayed, you know. Yeah right right. Yeah praying exactly. I wish I could kick you in the nuts. I really do. Yeah. But you know, I think he started really to think how we could apply stuff and it was good because it was live all the time you know boom he really had he had no choice man he had, yeah you know he's out killed because you know he the problem be. with being on the line is great but when you got to snap and then hit that's hard you know mm. so it was it was interesting it was it was a lot of fun and i mean ryan did really good with it too you, you know he played linebacker and he did really well too so but i mean like what i tried to do was i like, teach them how to just like really i mean some of the stuff is illegal i show them but i mean it comes like no you can't do that because they were doing like you know show me show them like that stuff like do that oh. <laughs> yeah yeah ring the bell <laughs> Coach is like, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah. Don't do, don't do the uh, Deacon Jones. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
So it was, it was interesting because, like, especially, like, you know, when you throw a punch this way, you know, you, you can move the arm this way. It's no problem, right? But when they're up under you like this, you're not lifting that elbow up. No freaking way, man. So I was yeah, like, you know, they had it all go inside and, and things had to change. You know what I mean? Certain things that you had to change towards it. So, like, it was good because, you you know, stuff was low, stuff was high. Mm. You know, you started to apply it. You know what I mean? So it, it, it was a lot of fun. That was, that was a lot yeah. of fun. I, I enjoyed that with the kids because, uh, you know, they were all in shape, man. You know, that's the problem when you go to some seminars. You know, not everybody's in shape, but these kids were all like, you know, Jack. Yeah, really Brandon yeah. was like, he was the smallest on the line. He was the smallest. I mean, at the time, he was 260, but now what do you like, 235? Yeah. He slimmed down, you know, for the ladies. Yeah, for <laughs> the ladies. <laughs> yeah. So, but so, no, that was really interesting. Go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 no. I was just going to say, um, you know, with your teaching, what do you overall, what are you trying to instill in your students, you know, like far as their journey is concerned? Well, you know, I mean, I think everyone's a little different, you know what I mean? But, you know, like you get these super dedicated ones that want to like just, you know, you know, like I have, I've had like a couple of them that were really amazing. You know what I mean? Like they're just super dedicated ones. They're just like all over your art and they, mm -hmm. they want to, you know, kind of out of it make it better you know like keep keep getting better with it and that type of thing and then then you have the fly by nighters i'm sure you had you know what i mean and everybody's yeah. different you know what i mean like and, and it's it's hard because like when you go teach a seminar you know you're trying to give them a lot of information in a short amount of time mm -hmm. you know and, and it's really hard so like you know like when i went to singapore i went there four times so i was able to like really like share with that guy a lot you know what i mean and he actually it was really neat because he came here too and you know he stayed at my house and then I, I did one in Belgium and they came over here, but there was a, you know, they'll tell you there's a language barrier. We try to use Google translator. They yeah, spoke French. It was hilarious. You know? But uh, I mean, it's just amazing. Like for me to go over there was amazing. Cause like, you know, I never thought I would do that, you know, go teach overseas. Yeah. And, stuff. and I mean, you know, I work with the, me and Ryan are going to Luxembourg and um, you know, it's just, it's just amazing. Like when I first went, I was amazed and like, you know, to go to Asia and then they got to go and it was really, really interesting for them. Like just, just to see culture and stuff. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. The culture. Yeah, you make that some things and stuff. You know how it is. You know, when you see yeah. that different things, it's like, so definitely you see some cool things over there. The food is better over there than Chinese food. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, they're better like, than your, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Students, students. You know, certain things are better, certain things aren't. You know, like the train system in Europe is really interesting. We don't have it here. <laughs> I hear you know, it. Like, I just, you got four cars. I go, yeah, we need them. <laughs> you know, you, you, you uh, can't go anywhere. You know. No, I hear it's, it's great. The train system. Yeah. 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 Um, so what is, um, What's your ranking system? If you if, do, you have one for your students? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I'm, um, I, I, you know, I have like just a sash system, and it goes all the way up to, um, you know, I have beginner level, white and yellow, then intermediate, which is uh, green and purple, and then I go to uh, a brown. It's like you know, uh, beginner advanced, and then I go to a second degree brown, which is a uh, um, apprentice instructor. Mm. And then I have like a black, and then uh, which is seafood. Then I have a senior. I got two senior instructors. They, you know, they're like second degree. But okay. yeah, I, I do do that. Yeah. No, 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 no. That, that's awesome. Yeah. And uh, and so um, but I, I will tell you this. I don't know if you don't mind me telling you this. Like, oh, no. sometimes I, I go teach at places, and I mean, especially I'm saying Europe is, I mean, they're, they're already like, they've done so many arts and stuff. They're already like pretty, pretty good. You know what I mean? I was pretty amazed. You know, like I taught one guy that did a slot system and he, he was good already. You know what I mean? I was like, wow. But you know, I guess it's where you live sometimes and how you approach the art. Like I think in America, we're very easy to grab a gun and then boom. You know what I mean? Like I got my gun. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's got a, he's got a gun safe in his, I let him keep a friend and keep it in his room. He's older than I Yeah. <laughs> you know, America. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, you know, I think like certain areas, they're just not, you know, they don't have that option. So it's, you know, they, they take fighting very seriously. That's what, how I put it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And absence of, uh, yeah, absence of gun. Yeah. Right. I mean, depending on what you have access to. Sure. Um, wow. Wow. So now, do you run 
are you mostly private seminar based or do you run group classes? No, I have a group class and I mean, I'll, tell, I'll be honest, like COVID, I used to have a lot. I know, you know, I know. COVID's, killed, COVID's I know. killed a lot. I mean, I still have it, you know, and then um, I do a lot of privates and then I do um, online classes. Like, I just, Zoom, somebody yeah. asked me to do that and I was so against it, man. I was like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. I don't believe you can learn like that. But you know what? It's actually, you can like break down everything online. It's it's actually no, cool. It's, it's a good tool. You're an asshole cool. too, and you're like, you know, you're doing that totally wrong, and you're away from, so it's cool. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. you know, so you could, but you still need the hands on. I'm not saying no. You know, yeah, 100. I think it's a good supplemental. Like in other words, yeah. if you know you're seeing the person, or you will see the person, I think it's a great supplemental aspect. But yeah. you have to do that solely, knowing you're not going to see the person. I guess it's better than doing nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's an ongoing. Well, you know, you know what? Like, I would say, like, you know, I've had some online classes, and then I would go over there, and I, you know, I spent like some. Um, well, I was supposed to go to Amsterdam, you know, like right when COVID hit, and I was like, gonna go. And then I remember my mom calling me on a thing, and she goes, "Oh, the president's on TV. You're not going anywhere." And it, she, he was. And I didn't. Even, I was at Walmart getting the rest of my stuff. We're going to Tampa to leave, and they shut everything down, and Europe was a lot faster shut down, so we didn't get to go until two years after. And I mean, we just went this summer and, um, you know, but I, I spent some time with them online. Mm -hmm. So they kind of already knew some of their stuff. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It was, yeah, it was kind of cool. You know what I mean? So you can, like you said, it's a supplement. That's all it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you yeah. still got to like, they got to have plans on with other people, you know? Yeah, no, no. Understood. And I agree. I mean, yeah, I mean, I totally. think you, have to, you have to feel the art. You have to feel yeah. it to appreciate it. And, you know, but, you know, but even with them, I mean, now they're like, you know, I mean, Brandon, you know, benching way over 300 pounds and stuff. Like, I, I mean, when he hits, it's like, oh, my God, dude. Like, I don't want to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, hey. yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. we go to the gym and all he does is hit me. You know, all that. I mean, it's people, we hit, we hit each other back and forth. That that is <laughs> no, he knows he does it, you know. And then uh, they probably just look at us like, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> but, yeah. So, yeah. I, I enjoy that part of it, though. You know, like, I've, I've shared the art with them. Now, now they apply it to me. It's great. You know? Yeah, no, that's what it's about, right? Full circle. Right? Yeah. yeah, and I and honestly, I think like that's what I never understood. Like, you know, you you know how it is. Like they always say, oh, it's a family art. It's this and that. Well, why not share it with your damn family? You know, like why, yeah, why yeah, you share it to all these other people and not your family? So I did. I made it to it. That's I mean, I'm you, like, yeah. I mean, there was a point like I think it was before COVID. Ryan was young, you know, because like when I went to the Netherlands now, they thought they were twenty. Four and twenty, and I'm like, no, they're teenagers. You know what I mean? That they're not. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, he, you no, know, he just started college this year, and you know, Ryan's only a, uh, a junior, but you know, they handled themselves well and stuff. It was, it was great to hear that. You know, like the way they moved and stuff. But I mean, I've always like been rough on them, and Ryan will tell you, like, there was a point, like, you know, he was young, and I was always rough on Brandon, so we started being rough on Ryan, and you know, he was like, oh, I don't know that, I don't, you know, didn't kind of like it. Now he's yeah, he's he's fine now. Yeah, you know, you know now he just it out. <laughs> so acquired yeah. taste, right? I mean, so yeah. um, yeah, I know what you mean by the COVID. Like, I had a really decent group class, and it just freaking fell apart. And you know what? Because it online and the private picked up, I'm like, I just kind of never revisited the group class. Yeah. Yeah, I, I still do it, but I'm, it's not as big. I mean, I used to have like in this garage up to like 20 people man it was like crazy um, i mean it was like i'd say get your little square like your phone i mean i had some big classes back then and i mean now a lot of people like to train one-on-one -on -one, you know like and i do whatever man i'll do whatever like yeah you know yeah, they can do it i mean it's kind of the best i mean they can do it. it's kind but of see, the i mean i have time now because like i you know i retired from the sheriff so i have time i could do it you know and they did yeah. mess with me all that they didn't understand like that you you retired, like you don't do anything now and get paid. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now he wants to go on law enforcement, our older one. And I was just like, oh, I so I'm told him, like, no, go get your degree and try to go to the feds. You know, try to, you know, you can always go to the chef. You know, you can always yeah, you go, can to always go, go local. Yeah. yeah, but get your you get your um degree and then you you can go further with it. You know? Absolutely. Good advice. So, Good advice. Like, trying to, you know, trying to keep them clean, not do anything wrong. Oh, yeah. Um so all right. I will send, I'm, I'm gonna send you this video of Dean, What's that? Right? No. I'm not, not, we can't share this with everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can send it to me. Sure. Yeah. No, no, he was, he was yeah, like yeah. at the beach 
and then he was boxing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. So I'll send it to you. That's pretty fun. And I was like, don't yeah, do that. Definitely, <laughs> uh, definitely check it out. So, all right, your future goals. So, what are your future goals for yourself, the system? What is? I mean, well, I think I think the main thing I want to do is like you know. I, I mean, I feel very privileged, like teaching overseas and stuff, and I want to keep expanding that. You know, like I want to, I don't want the arts to die. You know, like, and that's yeah, the problem with. Our, I think a lot of these arts, like, if they're not big MMA based, you know, like di different things like that, they, they they tend to die. You know what I mean? And I just want to, you know, keep furthering it. And, yeah. and I want to, you know, my my big goal is always pass it on to them. And I want them at some point, hopefully. You know, like I, there was a point even at the Netherlands seminar, I made Brandon teach. I just walked away and let him teach. You know what I mean? So he, they learn how to do it. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. You they know, the exposure to do it in front of people. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And it's and I've gone and like Brandon's been coming with me since he was 13, 12, like to seminars. Like he would go to North Carolina with me. Mm. And I remember him saying to me, Dad. Like this guy asked me a question, I go, "Well, freaking answer it." <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he was like a kid. You know, I'm like, "Well, you know enough, New York. You know, answer it." You know. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a great teacher. You know, but yeah. you know how? I mean, seminars are—they're funny though. You meet some you meet interesting some people. One hundred percent. Yep. <laughs> I remember <laughs> I got this guy. I'm not going to say where I was. I had this guy come up to me. He's like, "I'm a ten three black belt in this little one," but I'm like, "Hi, I'm Chris." Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, Chris, and you know. I use the whole life story and the whole yeah, resume. Like I'm, I'm Chris. That's all I am. I'm just like, I know. I'm, <laughs> same thing yeah. Dean. Right. I don't, wow. I don't have a prefix. Just Dean. It works. But I know some guys, they just feel compelled. They have it's to tell you your, your, your whole resume. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, they don't they don't know everything about all the stories. And, you know, there's a lot of story in every art. You know, they don't. I, mm -hmm. I just tell them, I'm more worried about your movement than anything. Like, you yeah, know, right. what can you do with your movement? That's the main goal. But, I mean, it was cool because they did go over there and they learned stuff that I didn't even know, you know, especially from in the Netherlands. I mean, it was mm. it's just so Salat based over there. And even our was over there, you know, which, you know, for a brief period of time. But there's branches of our art over there, you know, how they all train together. And it's, it's just yeah. so interesting to me. You know, I just sent my instructors this old picture he sent me and it was all in Dutch. And they were like, all over it they're like oh that's so oh, cool because wow. they've never seen it before like you know just like i love history like that i love seeing it and Absolutely. you know where it came from and you know that's that's always so interesting to me but yeah yeah no definitely i mean yeah it, history is awesome and uh it's bigger i mean the whole dutch aspect i mean with sea lot i mean it's yeah and then their kickboxing over there is also pretty special you know? oh yeah oh yeah and then, yeah. and i think like what you know the dutch were such big people compared to the Indonesians and mm. like, you know, the way they told me that would, you know, they, they, you know, they fight, they didn't say that, you know, like you would hear their death matches. They didn't say that. They just said, no, they were, they were you know, their matches, you know, and whoever won, won, you know what I mean? So they yeah. were, they were pretty honest with the whole thing, but you know how you hear some of these stories. I think that's like, Western yeah. folklore. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think mm. there's a lot of, what, yeah, I don't know. I think anyhow, you know, um, but uh, if you could do, all right, if you could do another martial art and you had the time, what would you do? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> There's a couple I, I I find very very interesting. Um, like one of them is catch wrestling. I think that's really interesting. Catch wrestling. I, 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 yeah, I think like you know, um, I think that's neat. You know, like like it's very like you know like an aggressive jujitsu. You know what I mean? Mm, I think that's super, yeah, super yeah. super interesting to me. You know, I, I like that. And, um. I mean, you know, some salats I, I really, you know, interested. I mean, there's, there's just so many good arts out there. Like, mm -hmm. after traveling in the world, I'm like, wow. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I like them in France. I think they're they're aggressive. They're more and more like uh, making a street street savvy. You know what I mean? There's a lot. I like that over there, you know. And, I mean, there's so many good Filipino arts. There's just... <laughs> Have you tried <laughs> any? Like have you trained any FMA, just like any systems at all? No, I mean, I've trained with a lot of people that do FMA, but I can't yeah. really say I've done it, you know? Like, it was funny, one, one time, like, you know, I did a thing with Brandon in, in school, and, you know, we couldn't take a knife in there because it was, like, elementary school, yeah. so we did sticks, and the guy goes, oh, yeah, you do good. I'm like, I don't do stick. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I was just doing it with Brandon, you know? But, I mean, it's, I, I, you know, it's just basic theories, you know what I mean? We, we do. <laughs> 
So, you know, yeah. no, but it was scary. funny. I mean, my guy told me, oh, you, you do Filipino. And I'm like, no, I don't do Filipino arts. Like, I don't want to say I do that because I don't do that. <laughs> you know I mean? No, no, that's fair. I was just, I was just, yeah. just curious. Yeah. Um, but uh, so what's up? What's cooking next? Uh, any um, summer? What's cooking? Yeah, we're going to be, we're going to Luxembourg. I'm going to take Brian with me. And I, I think, you know, it's going to be really interesting because, um, you know, he's always been in his brother's hat. Shout out. He's always been in his brother's channel, but he's really coming out now. And I, I, I mean, he did so good in the other ones. I was so proud of Ryan. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's becoming a young, you know, young man now. And uh, I'm excited to go with him, you know. Right. And, okay. Yeah. And, you know, he had to take his licks. I mean, he, he's getting hit now and he's, he's oh, fine. He's, with he's, him. Uh, <laughs> yeah. he's, due. he's earned his stripes. What about local? I mean, Seminars US? Um, I, I probably do one like in Fort Myers here, but um, I'm doing like Luxembourg and then I'll probably go to Philly in um, March. I mean, honestly, like I did stop for a while because I was like, I wanted to watch him play football. I mean, that was like so important to me to be there as a dad. Yeah. So I didn't do that many, like, and I stopped and COVID messed a lot of things up, but now I'm starting to do them again. Mm. But I mean, there was a, like a point, like, especially when I was working at the sheriff. I mean, I was doing a lot, and it was hard to keep up, you know, with that. I was working a lot of overtime, trying to, like, max out on that, you know, get everything done in my house before I left. Yeah, and, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was it was tough. I mean, my last – I mean, I'll tell you, I was an asshole. <laughs> I was, yeah, don't say it was horrible. I was an asshole. You know, I was, like, oh, working yeah. weights. I did a 1,000 hours one year. It was way yeah. too much. And I was trying to do all these seminars. and. That's but, I, I mean – it could just bless me, man. I, I, I mean, to travel the world and, and see it, you sure. know, through a march art or something you'd love to do. I, I'm, yeah, I'm blessed, man. man. That's amazing. Yeah. Right. It yeah. is. I mean, I, I, you know, and, and, and now I want to share it with them, and it's just great, you know, you know, because I was like, I wrote Ryan at school. I'm like, hey, you want to go to, oh, he's like, oh, yeah, daddy, let's go. You know, it's not like, a, oh, no, that they, you know, I love going, you know. Yeah. So when you go to Philly, is that to go see Alan? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably do something with Alan. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Brandon loves Alan. And you know what? Alan's such a good dude. He sends yeah. us like he sent us cheesesteaks. Man, that dude is awesome because he knows Brandon loves cheesesteaks. So he, he sent yeah, us. Yeah, when I went down there, I was exposed. Yeah, it was kind of neat. Yeah, he's definitely a good guy. So where'd you go? Where'd you eat? I forget the name of the place, but they took they took me to work, quote unquote, one of the more famous ones. Okay. We need to like Brandon loved Joe's. Like, what well, was Angel? Angel oh, took Brandon. You know what? I think it was Joe's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, that's not. It's not the oh, most famous one. They say like the famous ones are like stay away from. They're no good. You know, they're like yeah. they all fight among who's best. But oh my God, they're so good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's funny because Brandon right now he works at Jersey Mike, so he makes cheese steaks. I mean, they're not oh, like Jersey a Jersey Mike. <laughs> so, yeah. He can yeah. make his own, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Awesome, man. This has been great. I appreciate it. No, it's been great. Yeah. Like, um, we really appreciate you having us on. Oh, yeah. So we yeah. got Brandon, we got Ryan, and of course, Father Chris. All right. Yeah. And uh, we really well, hey, appreciate guys, it. It was awesome. Demos were awesome. I love the hip movement, love the closing the gap, the off balancing. Uh, fan of it all. Yeah. You know, um, I wish you guys the best of luck and everything you guys do. Yeah, I'll, 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 do, I'll show one more thing. Like, we do this. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, please do. One more thing. Yeah, come on. Do it with your brother. Okay, so one of the ones we do is, like, you know, we try to, like, build speed with this. So, like, Ryan's going to... I don't think we're this guy. I'm going to move back here a little bit. Right there. Okay. Okay. So, what I'm going to... Ryan's going to go here. He's not going to try to hit him in the air. Just going to... Okay, right. and he's got to pick this up while he's going. So it's, it works on your whip. And do, do it back. Do it outside? Yeah, yeah do the outside. Yeah. And he's got to pick this up. It's fast, you know. So it's, it's one of the ones we work on with speed with this. And... It's quick. You got to pick. No, that's awesome. I, I, I love that. We um, we do something similar in Unlock with a knife. Uh, I, I I love it. Perception and reaction enhancement. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I, I just think, yeah, anything like that, I, I, I love. I think that's great stuff. And good that they're doing it. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. And then, you know, I have to do stuff with, like, you know, blades and stuff. And 
we still got their old fencing man, so they go out and you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so it's fun. Yeah. So, you know. um, are you going to be at um, are you going to be at Chad's this year? Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, of course. Yeah, well, I mean, is he, yeah, I'll, I'm sure I'll be there. Yeah, I'll bring one of the boys. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm probably going to be there. So, so. Okay, yeah, I'll bring a ball. How about that? Speed the crap out of each other. Well, you had a work class time. You had a work class time. No, I didn't. No, no, when we no, got no, to no. Um, Oh, yeah. yeah. See, that's real close to me. That's only like no, no. 50 minutes, you know? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not bad at all. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's such a short bro. I'm okay. seeing some of those guys. It looks like end of October in Miami. Um, matter of fact, because Tom Sotis from Muck just moved down there. So we're, I'm supposed to do something with him, Chad, Dwight Woods, and oh, great. Tom Frank. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward because we're uh, trying to get a little chilly up here already. So it'll be a nice. <laughs> yes. I don't miss that. I mean, I want to live in Pennsylvania. And it's funny because, like, I once did him say, like, why are you black? Why are we black and gold? And yeah. I said, we're from Pittsburgh, baby. Steelers. Oh, uh, Pittsburgh. Okay, okay. Yeah. Steelers. Like, yeah. I'm like, sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, so. the, yep. The, yeah, the steel curtain. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, awesome. Well, hey, guys. Thanks again. And um, well, thank, you thank, you so much, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank yeah, you so much. No, anytime. Anytime. And hopefully, I'll see you guys at Chats. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll say, yeah, we'll be there. I'll see you, man. All right, thank All you right, so guys, much. You guys take care. All right, thank you. Bye. 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 And that wraps up 437. Who is next? That's a great question. Oh, you know what? Darcy. I have to get him on. And then I think New York Dog Brothers, their faction. And... Danny Terrell, who will just be doing demos, so I'm going to be uh, kicking that um, new format off. And it's going to start with Danny Terrell, actually. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but check out for my discussion. They'll all be posted. So, But, uh, yeah, it was interesting. Good stuff from uh, Chris Durbaum and his sons. I thought that was fantastic. Um, they're good guys and, uh, and all that. So uh, hopefully I'll see them in, uh, uh, in February. It seemed like a good family. Um, oh, there's uh, the host there and Patrick Morris. Yeah, no problem, Patrick and Chad. Great interview. Yeah, absolutely, John. I'm up. Oh, I'll be seeing our fierce leader in Miami. Um, but yeah, my in Florida got another one. Tom Sotis. So angry that he is left the Northeast. And if you haven't known, if you don't know already, he has moved to Fort. Wait, West Palm Beach. Yeah. Uh, Florida, and we lost him. And um, yeah, what a treasure Florida is getting. Tom Sotis. <laughs> I mean, I can't even begin to just speak on that. Um, happy for Florida, sad for us, but uh, what a gem they are getting. And I hope those Floridians take advantage of that. Um, that guy, if you don't. Yeah, you are uh, basically shortchanging yourself. So, yeah, Tom Sotis in Florida. But, all right, folks, thank you, those who watched. And I will see you guys uh, next time. Exciting, Tom Sotis. Yes, Eric. Exciting that you guys got him. Yeah, I, I can't speak enough about him. Um, but if you guys train with him, you'll. You'll know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, all right, folks. See you next time.